A beginner motion designer usually thinks that just adding keyframe is enough, and the best result they can get along something like this. But a professional knows details like the speed and spacing of keyframes are very important, and the result looks like this. If you want to learn animation professionally and step by step, I recommend checking out my Motion Hero course. Ok, to create a professional pop-up animation, first I'll select the book layer. I'll reveal the position and create a keyframe for it at frame 5. I'll go forward 7 frames and place it up high, right about here. At the beginning, I want it to be hidden, so I'll bring it down and place it below the floor. And after 8 frames, it comes back and lands on the floor. And I'll make the middle keyframe easy ease and set the influence to 80. Then I'll go forward 4 more frames and place the book a little higher again, around here. I'll set its influence to 70. Four frames later, I'll bring it down to the floor again. Alright, let's take a look and see how our animation turned out. The next thing we need to do is add a bending effect to our book. To do this, we'll add a bend effect to the layer. I'll place the start in the middle and the end at the side of the book. Then we want to bend it in this direction. To prevent the layer from getting cut off when it moves, we'll write the expression to come value for both the start and end. After doing this, we need to adjust the points again. At the beginning, we'll set a keyframe for bend. I'll select the layer, press U to show the keyframes, and set the value to 0. Right where the book reaches its highest point, 3 frames earlier, I'll bend this a little and set it to 25. Then I'll set it back to 0 here, so it gets that bend in motion as the layer moves up. Let me easy ease the keyframes. And when it comes down, it should bend in the opposite direction. I'll decrease the bend a bit, negative 25. And when it lands, it becomes 0. When it goes up again one frame before, I'll bend it this way, setting it to 8. And here, I'll enter negative 7. And at the end, I'll set it to 0 again. Let's take a look and see how our animation turned out. We'll also animate the rotation to make it look more natural. Right here, I'll rotate the bend in this direction, setting it to 5. At the beginning, the value is 0, and it stays 0 at the end too. And I'll set the influence to 80. I'll come over and use the motion tools script and enter value of 80. After this step, we can also animate the book's cover and pages. To do this, I'll open the layer and go into contents. For these lines, I want to animate their rotation, so I'll create keyframes for them. For the top part of the cover, I'll also animate the path. And for this part, I want to animate the path as well. I'll press U so only the keyframes are visible. I'll easy ease the keyframes and place them two frames before the book reaches the top. And until this point, meaning one frame before it lands on the ground, I'll select these points and drag them up to create the book opening effect. To make sure the clipped parts are seen correctly, I'll select the layer, go to effects control, select the bend effect, and pull it back a bend so the top part is also visible. Since we changed the end point of the bend effect, the bend has decreased. So I'll enter minus 45 and 45 to make the bend more visible. Then I'll animate this. I'll just pull this single point up a little bit. And I'll fix the rotation of these lines. At the end, it goes back to its original state. We didn't animate this last line, so I'll delete its keyframe. 
Okay, you can apply this same animation to the rest of the objects in your scene to have a really cool and dynamic scene. And if you're interested in pop-up animation, I've prepared another tutorial with a different method for creating this type of animation, which you can also watch. Thanks for watching.